Hi everyone, and welcome to Under Thunder Mountain. It's a new day. We're here, we're blessed. It's a new day. Thanks for stopping in. Okay, so we know that um, I'm always here to just give a little chat. And it's pretty short and sweet. And sometimes it may be a little short and sour. Hopefully not. So, But I look forward to your comments. And um, I welcome them. Uh, this is a place of love and light. So uh, we have our love and light up. And all who are of that are welcome to come in. Okay, so, you know, there's so much going on in the world right now. And uh, there's a lot of upheaval around how we're doing things. And um, especially from our leadership perspective. So um, we have so much growth potential at this particular time. Where there is massive growth of love and light, we also have the opposite occurring simultaneously. Uh, so that's why it's so very important for us individually to gravitate towards that which is of the love, the fruit of the love, the love, be the love. And I, I, I imagine as we're evolving, which we're doing so beautifully, we're generating more and more of that energy and we've come into this new age and this new consciousness these new awarenesses the divine feminine has been realized and so we have the other side grinding uh, against uh, that process uh, that's how I guess it all happens we have a good and we have an evil uh, we have the words that we gave to them. So, you know, language is a whole other topic for another time. But staying positive and keeping that light flowing individually is so very important. So today I brought my, um, one of my crystal grids uh, and in the center is a, a beautiful heart, okay? And so everyone who knows me knows that I work with crystals quite a bit. Their um, crystals are the uh, transmitters uh, of energy. And so what, what they uh, absorb, they become then uh, able to emit. Uh, that's everything we have is with the crystal power. So um, if you can start to activate some crystals, I've been giving and working with crystals for, oh my goodness, I don't know, a couple of decades now. So, but uh, crystals are excellent and you can get them on the internet and then you can put them under the moonlight or take them to a beautiful brook and infuse them with the wonderful love energy vibration of the earth and then carry them with you and choose love. So when we're faced with times where our leaders may be definitely on the failing us side, uh, it's really important for our prayers and our energies to gravitate towards the side that will make the change through the energy field, manifesting power, because our intentions and our words and all of that matters. So responding with love, reflecting love against that which is not or less than love and light is uh, one of our greatest uh, I guess, uh, forms of uh, evolution that we have. So choose love, and I look forward to seeing you. Hopefully tomorrow, I'm going to be doing um, yoga with Meow Lissa. So looking forward to that. And see you again. Love you much. Choose love always. Love and light. Bye.